Ah, uh, today's a bit of some uh, sad news. Uh, well, uh, I guess depending on people you ask, really, for me, that is, it's a little perplexing because I'm a little upset. But at the same time, uh, I don't know. I just don't know how to feel about this. YouTuber too mad dead at 23, a possible overdose uh, thing going on here now. Too mad. He was. Uh, he's he's a big memer, big troll, um, funny guy, right? But then the past couple of years of his relevancy i kind of had to like dis disavow him a little bit because it was just like it's rude anyways law enforcement sources tell us the internet personality who has millions of followers across his various youtube channels and social pages was found unresponsive tuesday night in his los angeles area home this after somebody called in to ask for a welfare check we're told too mad hadn't been heard from in several days by concerned parties and he even missed some appointments as a result the ladp or is it the LAPD, excuse me, was sent to check on him. And then when they found his body, although it's unclear how long they to check on him. And that's when they found his body, although it's unclear how long he'd been in that state. Sources say there was drug paraphernalia around the scene. Um, and at this point, they're told that this is being investigated as a possible overdose. No foul play suspected in his death. Very unfortunate too, Matt. I really... I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed some of his content, like, like the Bella Delphine stuff that was going on when he built that PC with uh, with Linus Tech Tips. Like, those are pretty funny videos. I actually really enjoyed watching a lot of his content, but like, I'm his actions and stuff, it just didn't. I don't know, bro. His, his actions past few years have been completely uh not good he went off the radar a few months ago nobody really heard from him so weird to talk about you know what i mean it's just how do i how do i feel about this you know what i mean like i don't i don't hate the guy but at the same time he wasn't a good guy anyways i'll tell you who's not a good guy or uh, this james ski guy goes i can finally say it too mad was a and a over the last few years, he tried to murder me multiple times for helping the police, detectives in multiple states to investigate a lot of horrible things he's done. He wanted to take out multiple innocent lives by getting behind a wheel and going head on a freeway while being high on illegal drugs. He didn't succeed once as he overdosed before killing anybody, so he tried it again. Despite him trying to murder me in multiple innocent lives, I've been trying to help law enforcement to make sure he's safe, doesn't get hurt, and doesn't harm anybody. Please remember that he's a an a he continued to prey on the vulnerable even after the police got involved, including a 13-year-old in a mental hospital. This tragedy doesn't excuse any of his actions. I will address a lot of stuff when I fully collect my thoughts. Past few months have been a total mess and reason why I ended up in ER. Please give me time. Now, I don't, I don't mind him going after this when he's alive, but granted, he's not a very good person. It's a little too late now, James Ski. It's a little little too late i'm not gonna lie to you bro like not not the best place to time i mean it's good you went to law enforcement you, you weren't like mama max over here right it's just such a sticky situation i disagree with the actual tweets although i 100 agree with everything that he's saying in the tweet it's just the timing could not have been uh, worse you know what i'm saying like the dude literally was just found dead i mean you could parade all you want i just don't i think it's distasteful in my opinion maybe morally this is wrong for my encompass maybe it's morally right for you do deserves to ride in prison i can understand that two man definitely deserves he needs to be condemned for his actions and i don't think death uh was a good thing because that's the easy way out in my opinion i think you need to suffer you need to sit there with your mental turmoil understand what you did and and realize the ramifications of the people you've affected with your you know set actions too mad but too mad is now crossing the plane of the living and into the dead or he already did uh which is un unfortunate in two different ways my boy chris not goes ahead and says james Key, i'm gonna be real here tuning this ain't the move right now should have posted proof or at least something to show anything about what you are saying that's true true i also don't think he's defending too mad here at all chris and i actually really did like too mad for a while it was crazy sporadic editing and then all the bullshit came out and we kind of had to separate our ways there are people saying he's defending too mad here he's not trust me he definitely is not but uh i just don't i just don't think james key this is the place uh or time or uh right way to go about it right you can condemn a man when he's dead you can condemn a man while you beat him down but at the end of the day, you're just beating a literal dead horse, right? Like, I don't, I don't get it, right? This is so weird to wrap my head around. Too Mad is actually gone, right? 
This is like, I don't know, bro. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not making any sense of this whatsoever. It's like, I'm not like comprehending it. Am I this like dumb that I can't comprehend comprehend it? Like, I, obviously I can comprehend death, but I don't know. I kind of wanted two men to rap in turmoil. Not this. 